Hi Taurus, welcome to your mid-July 2020 General Tarot update. It's Raina here. <laughs> it's really shuffling. I got that exact same card for another sign. In that same exact position, I should say. In case you're wondering about the deck, I get this sometimes. It's a well-unknown tarot deck. It's one of my go-to decks. Okay. So the heart of the matter is the strength card. This can be either physical strength from recent um, illness that you're or, or immune deficiency that you're gaining um, resistance to to um, illness or confidence. The Leo lion. This is connected to Leo. And the whole point of Leo is about confidence and dignity, self-respect. And this can come from uh, sometimes when people have a breakup, they actually feel more confident because they're away from a person who degraded them. And the same thing can apply to a job. It, you know, you can have a boss who does this as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the past position, we have the Four of Cups. And this, I, I have to admit, this card really gives me the heebie-jeebies. Oh my gosh. But, um, <laughs> but even that I get a kick out of. Um, I love the, the illustrations of this deck. Um... This is a card that is associated with emotions, but it's kind of like um, emotions that are perhaps unsettling, and where you feel uninspired, you feel like kind of emotionally flat, like you're not really um, that enthused by whatever it is that you're doing. So if you're in a job that you're not crazy about or a relationship, um, it can indicate that... Um, Sometimes, you know, with the strength card, maybe it took a lot to get you out of that situation. And by the way, if you're still stuck in a, in a situation like this, you're gaining that confidence to be able to move out of it. And the higher message is the Son of Wands. Gosh, I think this is the third time I've gotten this card. And this is connected to this is the Knight of Wands, actually, and it's connected to Sagittarius. I would also add um, Aries, and even, um, you know, if you look at just Wands, Leo is also a fire sign. Now, this is the spiritual message or the philosophical angle. So what I would say is that perhaps there are some Taurus people that need to be more daring, and perhaps you've been playing it too safe um, in terms of your life, and you get what you um, expect to get out of life, don't you? And so people who want that kind of predictable life, then they're going to get predictable results. And... Um, the thing is with Knight of Wands is it's a double fire energy, which means that sometimes we have to be um, very concerned with our own path and not be um, influenced by other people's opinions too much. And that can and, and, and want that sort of independence in life. And that's kind of what the wands, the adventure in life, where things are not uh, always 
predictable, but they can be very interesting. What crosses you is the Ten of Cups. Now this is the card of family joy. This is the card of, um, you know, happily ever after. And you might say, well, that's just a fairy tale. That, that's not really true in life. But I do believe that um, we can have, maybe we don't have a perfect existence, but we can have a lot more in life, and we can hope for that. Um, so if you are currently with someone, maybe married to somebody, uh, or you have children with someone, and you're like the Four of Cups, you're really uh, disinterested, you're disconnected from this person emotionally, um, you're probably starting to see this come up for yourself. And especially since Uranus is in Taurus, it gives even the dyed-in-the-wool, uh, more traditional, more uh, steadfast Taurus, Taurians, a bit of a wild card energy where they may feel this strong need for independence that they may have never felt in their life or rarely felt and they're like what's wrong with me no maybe there's nothing wrong with you um, even though this is just a transit it's not going to be happening forever it can be life-changing because you may feel like this sense of being pushed into new territory and for a sign that doesn't like its food dish moved very much, um, that might be a little bit daunting because you know that you have these feelings, but you don't know exactly what you want to do with them. That's where the strength card comes in. It's having confidence to be able to weather those storms of confusion and decision. And with the Ten of Cups, um, you know, make your dreams come true, even if it's not, it's going to be messy in the meantime, because going from one thing to the next, I mean, going from one, I won't say extreme, but if you're in either like a committed partnership, that type of scenario, and you want to be single, or if you've already done this, and you're finding it very hard to adjust, it does take a lot of strength. It does take a lot um, of ability to, to realize that this too shall pass. Um, and change is inevitable for all of us. We're having seven eclipses this year. So this is you know one reason why people are talking about 2020 is one for the record books or the history books. But personally with you, um, the timing for marriage might be off or that type of relationship, but it's there. It's not going anyplace, so don't fear um, that if you're in the midst of a upheaval in your life, that that means that, oh, I'll never do this, oh, I never do that. No, that's not true. What's coming in is represented by the Two of Cups. Are you um, thinking of reuniting with somebody? Maybe it's a Leo, I don't know. <laughs> but you know, the thing is about this card is that this is also a card of forgiveness. And it may be hard for some Taurus people to forgive. You know, you hold on to things very um, steadfastly. And even things that are rather negative you may feel compelled to hold on to because you feel like um, you were done wrong in certain cases and you have the right to feel the way you do and that you absolutely do. But in order to break through and move forward, forgiveness isn't about forgetting, but to be able to look at a situation and see that maybe the other person, even if they cheated on you, even if they did things that were not okay, that they were just 
looking for happiness like everybody else and they felt you know uh, maybe just like you did with the four of cups they felt a sense of dissatisfaction in the relationship with you does that mean you're responsible for their dissatisfaction absolutely not two people can be good people and not be compatible with one another ultimately and you may have, have children together and still have that sense of I'm not sure. Um, and the same thing with work-related matters. The strength card is really about believing in yourself ultimately, I think. I think that's what it really means. And that means that a person has to um, know what, not only what their strengths are, but what their weaknesses are. Uh, one thing that I have noticed is that some people don't seem to know what they're not good at. And I think it's important to know what you're not really, really good at so that you don't waste your time pursuing it. Um, I don't know why this occurs. Sometimes I think maybe parents said good job to every little thing and then people think they can do everything amazingly. I don't know. But I, I feel like knowing what you're good at and what you love to do is so valuable in life and then you can build upon those strengths and um, I just have that the top row um, it seems that if this is work related that you're unsatisfied and you're trying to branch out but perhaps what is keeping you is this fear of life not being predictable and sometimes you do have to realize that uh, you can't know everything in advance. But this is great. This is the outcome card, um, the Four of Pentacles. This is a card of financial stability and um, security. So whatever you're going through in life, whether you're um, contemplating getting back together with someone, whether you're getting divorced, or planning on getting divorced, whether you're looking to change occupations, change workplaces, start your own business, I feel like you have the confidence to do it. I feel like you have the, uh, and this may not have been always the case, in other words, and you're starting to get into this thing, and you just have to adopt more of the Knight of Wands energy, where you are looking at life as an adventure, not as a potential disaster. Okay, that's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you would like a private reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye.